hello everybody in this video we're going to talk about um, or rather discuss how we can um, do circuit analysis when you have resistance in series in a circuit by series we mean two resistors are connected something like this and this is connected to a battery now let's take any arbitrary values here so let this be 3 ohms, let this be 1.5 ohms, and this would be 9 volts. Now the current would be going in this direction. Let's analyze it using our potential diagram. Imagine you are a 1 coulomb of charge marching through this battery. So you gain about 9 joules for every coulomb produced by the battery. And we, across this resistance this 3 ohm let's call this r1 and r2 the potential drop that you will have is given by the current into the r1 which is i into 3 and here it would be i into r2 so that would translate into a drop of here i into 3 so this is a 3i volts drop which is basically across the R1 and you have about 1.5 I drop which is across R2 you can equate them you can say hey 3 I plus 1.5 I which is the loss the loss would be equal to the gain which is uh, which you gain from the battery which is a gain uh, or in other words 9 is 4.5 I or I is 2 amperes so thus you can find the current in the circuit um, we can generalize or before we generalize we can uh, we you know that would this I is 2 amperes would imply that the drop across R1 is 6 volts and across R2 is 3 volts. Now we can generalize this whole discussion by trying to find an equivalent circuit. Let's say you have R1 and R2 and you have a battery E with a you know voltage of E volts let's say this is 9 volt or something now you can find an equivalent circuit so an equivalent circuit equivalent circuit with just one resistor and let that be R equivalent with the battery connected with just a condition that both of them have same current so both of them have same current such that it draws same current okay you can say let this be equivalent circuit such that it draws the same current now let's analyze the left one so you have E is equal to I into R1 plus R2 uh, because the drop here is I into R1 and the drop here is I into R2 and on the right hand side your E would be equal to I into R equivalent so in general you can you, when you compare both of this you can say that hey you know to construct an equivalent circuit uh, which draws a similar current uh, you will have to use an equivalent resistance of R1 plus R2 so so that's that's how you can think so this helps us to solve problems with a lot more ease for example if I were to give you another problem wherein you have a 6 ohm resistor and a 4 ohm resistor this is connected across 
a 5 volt battery and if someone asks you what is a current all you need to do is you can say hey my equivalent resistance is equal to R1 plus R2 because they are in series so this is equal to 6 plus 4 that's 10 ohms um, and your I will be equal to E by R equivalent that's 5 volts divided by 10 ohms that's 0.5 amperes so that 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 gives gives us a tool to calculate the current uh, with much more ease so I hope you enjoyed this video um, see you in the next one